Hello guys and welcome to another video from Oscar Cooper. I hope you are all doing well. If you are new to me, get your shit together. If you are regular, we got a pretty good list. It's another four player. We've got eight. I think we've got eight. That might be wrong, don't worry. Um, but let's start. Let's have a look at Spl Splunky. Right? Splunky 1. Splunky 2 has just been announced actually. There's quite a lot of people out there. Uh, very much looking forward to that. Now, this has got an LAN option, local area network option. I haven't seen that at the start of a game since the 90s. So that's nice and impressive. Obviously, nice and easy logins. No PSN network required. All that stuff's really cool. And there's some nice unlockables at the beginning of the game for a different character type, etc. Now, it, my mates fucking hated this game. <laughs> they hated it. They didn't like it. And, and there's a few reasons for that. And um, what I want to make it clear is Spelunky is a really amazing game. I'm aware of the Spelunky greatness, okay? So don't get all, I'm a Spelunky fanboy and you've just gone and slapped me around the face. I know it's complications and I know it's depth and it's a, it's a roguelike, if you don't know, that's got some platforming and some sort of different traps and puzzle elements that are set in a, a procedure generated map. You have various goals in and around. You have various equipment, like a rope ladder and a bomb and stuff. But my friends were just, they, we, I'm scoring this list on pickup and play and, and accessibility and for them it wasn't very accessible they found it difficult death it's really easy dying when you die you come back as this annoying ghost and you can blow that's the only thing you can do is, is blow air which which puts the player off uh, moves enemies around it's quite it's quite easy to think that this game isn't a co-op game when it is because you're all struggling after one goal but uh, as you can see a few wrong moves from my friends a bomb getting laid down in the wrong place that sort of stuff and it, sent, it sets the whole plan awry so it's first on the list it, it, again it's four player again it's huge and what I mean by that in, it, is its content is is massive but be warned it's not very jump in and, and have a good time yeah, so it's time for the schizo crazy crawl and uh, this is a repeat, I'm sorry regulars, there's only two repeats on this list but I wanted to try the four player out obviously because I'm so interested in this game, it's so weird with, with what it's offering and I'll explain a little bit of that in a second. Um, it four player, easy four player access, really cool arcade screen for entering in your details but this game is again a hard pitch for for my mates getting them in and getting them to play it so it's it's a dungeon crawler where one person is a human and the other three people are ghosts you can activate traps as ghosts and spawn in enemies as ghosts to put off the human player or even kill him and if you do that, the roles are reversed, the, the killer becomes the human player, and then the game goes on. So it's a weird concept because you could all work in conjunction with each other and get the whole level done easily, but that's probably not what the developers wanted. They want everyone to fight the human player so they become the human player. And the advantage of being a human player is it's a bit more fun, uh, it's a bit cooler. You, you probably get gold and level up a bit easier, and there's a shop as you just saw. Um, so it's it's just as mad as a hatter this one uh, they enjoyed it in the end it took them a while to come around to it uh, there was complaints about the graphics I don't mind this 8-bit look but it's a really 8-bit look isn't it I mean it's it's NES 8-bit uh, this one this screen is here is between levels you can spend your points that you've earned on upgrading the enemies that you would have spawned in if you were a ghost which I which I like the idea but it was but it's just crazy be be aware that it's crazy you've got to be into RPGs a bit because it's kind of an action RPG You've got to be into dungeon crawlers, retro games, and you've got to have a group of mates that, that understand the, that genre and you know want to work with you to, to give you a cool experience. So number seven is crawl. Okay, last repeat, and that's it, I promise. Um, but yeah, overcooked too. Now, there was a lot of groans in the room when I put this on because a few of my friends have, have loathed this game, but it actually got more votes than the previous two games. I did a voting system and asked them to score where would they put these games, you know, one to eight, in how much they would want to play them again. And what the thing with Overcooked, and a few of them said this, is you've got to have a game plan. If you've got a game plan, then, and you know what everyone's doing, and you, you will 
you're comfortable with the buttons and the controls and the concept of the game, it's really good. It, I mean, it, it, it's an op, you know offers huge depth. It really does. But as you can see, chaos just ensues with, with, with my friends because they refuse to take the game seriously. The red one, I'm not mentioning any names, um, and and that and that doesn't that doesn't put it in a good light. Do you, you, you know what I mean? Everyone has to have a role in the kitchen, and everyone has, to, and you sort of have to delegate, and and so you get a, a rhythm going, and and that and the very few games offer that on the couch co-op level in the depth that Overcooked does. It, its predecessor was so strong, it, you know, it was really well reviewed, and it did really well. And and this one it, is doing a lot of the same. Of course, there's a throw mechanic in it. None of us really got into that because that's quite difficult to master. Look at this red guy. What, I mean, what the f you know? I'm I'm probably saying I'm. I think at the moment I'm shouting rice, rice, get away from my rice station. You know, it's one of those, it's one of those weird things. It really deserves to be on the list though because it's very strong. Overcooked too. Brawlhalla, Brawlhalla is free. Uh, well, it depends what the date you're watching this video is on because I only found this out at the 11th hour that it's free on the PlayStation Network at the moment, and that's that all finishes on the 6th. So get your shit together and get down and download it because it is a Smash Brothers clone, an absolute template. Of Smash Brothers, and and if you don't own a Wii U, um, you've probably really missing Smash Brothers. I, I thankfully I, I do own a Wii U and, and have it, but it's a ball ache getting that archaic machine out again and 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 playing it. So I've got that I've got that hook here now with Brawlhalla, and uh, this is really worth it for for, for nothing. This game is is very detailed and well made. It, you can see straight up. That the art style is is got is got depth, you know. And I was looking into it, and there's there's Brawlhalla, massive Brawlhalla tournaments. Like people take this game really seriously. It's not obviously as big as Smash, but but it's but it's offering that cool idea. And the idea is four of you uh, knocking the crap out of each other <coughs> on maps that, that allow you to knock other opponents off. And if you if you're weakened by hits, then you can't get back onto the platform. So you're looking up in the top right there, and you're making sure that you know the person you're going for. Or is weak enough for you to put a finisher move on them and, and knock them off and it's, it was really good it got really tense I love how the camera zooms in when there's the two people left you know and the other guys are watching and uh, yeah it's good <laughs> one of the things that I think it falls down on and probably why it's so cheap is that it really heavily relies on microtransactions I, I, I freaking hate microtransactions as, as does everybody I just can't understand why they're still in the business to be honest but all there's a did you see on that character roster 80% of that massive character roster is, is microtransaction but this does loads of stuff right. Brawlhalla, Smash Brothers clone for the PlayStation 4. So it's Guacamelee 2, uh, uh, the second sequel on the list, and um, I, I was really looking forward to this game. Guacamelee 1 is one of the best platform hack and slash four player games on the market for the system. It's probably got one of the most adorable art styles you know, of all these games. It's incredible, uh, sort of set in a Neo Mexico Day of the Dead style, and um, yeah, it's, it, it, it's a really good game, it's a really good series, and, and Guacamelee 2 uh, does not shy away from being excellent, at looking excellent as well, absolutely beautiful. Now be warned, I actually bought this game of the night of my mates turning up and because I know it's so good I knew this was going to deliver there's a goddamn 25 minute intro where you can't have the other players in until you get past it and of course they're all sitting there thinking what what are you doing and I'm like I don't know I don't, and there was cutscenes there was dialogue so just be warned you know if you get it in uh, with an idea to, to pick up four pads and get going you won't you have to get that out of the way but don't you know don't don't let that put you off because look at it look at how incredible it is the camera's really good as well there's loads more depth on the graphics with this game there's there's kind of like a motion blur put on stuff it's really beautiful I can't stress that enough everyone always says that to me look how great this game is it's also quite a hectic game to have four people in on I think where this would shine is two maybe three particularly one player so it's a you know if you're if you've not got a high budget and and you're looking for a decent game that's got content for the one player this is definitely a direction to go in because it's it's stunning it's reviewed really well just have a look around to see how amazing guacamelee 2 is Duck game, Jesus Christ, duck game. I mean, this this game got past all of the previous games we've just been talking about. It, it did it did quite well on the votes, and it was it was when things started to get 
let's have another one please let's have another one and I always that's always a good buying signal with me is when they're like can we just have one more because um, it's actually very 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 competitive and very good and basically it's a side scroller where you get random drops in on a, in on a set stage you start in different areas and you and all the, the, de the detail is in the weapon and the weapon type and what that weapon does and and it's it's just got this brilliant really quick uh, live and die sort of gameplay mode to it. It's a one-shot kill game. You, you, if you get to the weapon in time and can cause enough havoc with it, then then you're the one having the fun, you know. Um, Looks-wise, of course, it's not going to drop any jaws, but you don't need that when you've got quality co-op uh, or versus gameplay like this. And this is definitely a versus game. I'm the first versus game on the list, actually, and I love that. I love competing directly with my mates and killing them and watching them, you know, get more and more annoyed. And, and that game really gives me that arena quality literally to do that really um, sort of crazy off the wall uh, mechanics with some of the weapon drops there's jetpacks in there all kinds of different stuff and and we just you know we just really loved it everyone was getting more and more into it and getting their heads around how those controls work because they're quite twitchy there you can obviously move around in the air and, and the, the quicker you can get to an area in the map and pick up and use what you've found on the people you're playing with the better so yeah it's uh, and it's cheap this 4.99 it's currently on like a massive 60% discount as well so that, that I enjoyed that a lot and um, if you like what you see um, this is this is this one this is one to pick up I think a lot of the popular streamers and youtubers like this game as well I thought I think I first saw this on on one of the bigger name I think Mark Pellier gosh I don't know yeah I know but I don't I don't know what I was doing watching him but I think he played it recently which gave it a huge injection of interest but it's definitely worth looking at it scored really well with the votes duck game Screen Cheats is second on the list. We've only got one more game, and it, it got it got voted so well. So it's just there's no title screen. Apologies. This is called Screen Cheats. Um, I found this game on PlayStation Access. I oh, know I've got all these embarrassing confessions coming through about what I watched on YouTube, but yeah, them them guys at PlayStation Access introduced me to this because I think it's relatively unknown. And let me just try and explain the concept. You can't see anyone. Right. The only way you can see who's where and what, and that's why the map's colour coded like it is, is th on their on their screen. So you've just like with GoldenEye, you're you're looking at where everyone else is and what they're doing, so you can close in on them and kill them. And they've they've developed that idea. They developed it really well. It's got this crazy weapon roster as well. Like I think that guy's got a clockwork pig in the corner there. And there's also like a horse, like a funny toy horse that you charge into people. But the shotgun for me was like the default. And so what? And so I was literally stalking all my. Ma they're trying to do the same thing. I'm like, oh, someone's in a pink area now. So you go there, and then you look, and you see exactly where they are. So staying on the move is a really important idea. Uh, the concept for, with with my mates was a, a bit grating at the beginning. They were like, this is just not. I want a first person shooter, and this isn't it. But it is a really good first person shooter. But you've got to use your brain, and that and that's that's the clever idea of it. And uh, it's such a brilliant refreshing idea for a game my only complaint with this is, is how crude it looks I, I, I thought they could have you know given it a little bit more love with, with the visuals but again that doesn't matter you know it's a it's an indie game and it's the idea that counts with this one and uh, wow does it does it do well and um, it, it that we really got into let's have another game territory with this one screen sheets well deserved to be number two yes my number one Four player couch cart game for this week is of course Speedrunners. Recommended to the hilt by my by my viewers on in the comments. They're like, why have you what are you doing with your life, man? You've not uh, played this yet, and of course I sat down, downloaded it, and uh, my god, yeah, this is uh, the only there's only another game, one other four player game that I put this on a par with. Um, and it's Badlands that has been on a previous one of my lists. And uh, go if you again if you're new, you know, go and look because Badlands is is is, is up there with this. It, as you can exactly see what's going on here. You're trying to cane to the side of the screen so it eats the little person who's in last place. Uh, but the genius of it is that you get a grappling hook which allows you to swing and sort of 
almost cut corners. Everyone has a bar at the top, which is a boost on R2, which lets you run a little bit faster. So you're trying to get the power up as well. Everyone has a power that it can either be a, a, a hook to pull someone back, or it can be like a heat seeking missile, or you might have seen that drill there at the start, which darts you forward. But it, it you know, the, the, the yelps of joy and screams of frustration were everywhere when, when we played this. And it was quite clear to everyone in the room that this was the, the game, the best game of the evening. You know, again, really important, total pick up and play. The guys got their heads around the controls and how this game works almost instantly. You know, that, and that's one of the things I'm scoring on. Notice the screen gets smaller. I don't know if that's a time based thing or whether there's less of you. If there's less of you on the screen, the screen gets smaller so it's easier to get them off the side of the screen. It's a great idea. I want to leave you with some extended play because this was an epic battle and the music is amazing. So, um, as always, see you down there. Yeah. Please like and subscribe if you're new. I'm pumping these lists out all the time. And uh, I'm off to play Spider Man. I know. I've had it for two days. I'll, I will put a review out. Um, you know, one of the things I do is avoid mainstream games because they get lost on, on, on the algorithm. But, I mean, yeah, ch check it out because I'm very interested in Spider Man. It's very good. But as always, thank you so much, guys. Take care. See you all later.